creatures alone in the forest. Talia and the deforesting evil's army had penetrated deep into the forests. But the road to the forest queen was still long. Well, let's see if we can't shorten the distance we have to travel at least a little bit in today's episode. As you can imagine, since you're seeing this up on the channel, there was an overwhelming interest in seeing at least a little bit more of this particular DLC and perhaps some of the others as well. But let's jump in there. Of course, we're going to be playing on Hellish because, well, if you're not playing on Hellish as an evil overlord, what are you even doing? My goodness. This has nothing to do with difficulty, it's to do with the fact that it's called Hellish. That's that's the be-all, end-all. If Hellish was the easy mode, I would still pick Hellish because it's thematically correct. Okay, now then. Oh, nice quick loading time. That's a little bit uncommon. Uh, oh, I, I spoke too soon. Ah, no, there we are. Okie ah! dokie, we've put this stone together. So now we can use it to enter the realm of the Forest Queen for a little creative plundering and burn. Unfortunately not. What? Of course not. Nothing in this game is ever that straightforward. There are always 20 intermediate steps. Talk about frustrating. Uh. Okay, so what do I have to do now? Poor old Talia. A mighty gate would have to be passed before they could enter the woods. But this was made from the vines of ancient trees and virtually indestructible. That isn't good. Talia and the bored evil would first have to weaken the trees before they could do anything here. Okay. The only way to do that would be to destroy their root system. Okay. Chop some roots? Doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but hey, I've faced far more stupid tasks in my time, so... Not so fast. <sighs> These roots were located in inaccessible areas of the forest. It would take the creatures centuries to chop their way through. Fortunately, thanks to the newly assembled Portal Stone, these inaccessible areas could be entered. Right then, let's get this show on the road. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Um, uh, how does this whole portal thing? That is a good question, actually. All right then, minions, get to work. Chop chop. Uh, let's have a look round. Uh, got a little bit of gold. We've got a hero gate. Never a good thing. Uh, lots of gold around the hero gate. Also, not particularly a good thing. Uh, if we got a way up, we do. Well, no, actually, no, we don't. Rootling room. Hmm. Let's so pick this up. The greedy evil took up the portal stone. Set on the proper spot, it would open a pathway into the inaccessible parts of the forest. It immediately began trying it out. It did. Donk. Right. Now then, I'm assuming that is a yes. It has. Ah, oh, fantastic. I need an island of evil so bad. Oh, my lord. Uh, nearest island of evil, right down there. Okay, well, we're gonna need that. For the time being, though, can I, can I pick this up? Yeah, okay, good. I'll just leave it there. So that we're not having any uninvited guests, let's just say. Uh, right, well, let's have a look at our minions. Not bad, we've got a healer already. That's actually pretty good, as far as things go. Uh, the usual thing, we're gonna get uh, a couple more minions and a level. I'm the queen! Or two. There we go. Okay, that's the way we're going to spread that one out. Now, I haven't gone from the Naga this time because we've already got a Naga this time. So, as long as we keep that Naga alive, we should be... Uh, oh, actually, no, we've, we've unlocked the Nagas themselves. Is that... Oh, well, of course. If we've got the Nagas, it'll already be there. That's fine. That's fine. That actually does save us quite a, quite a bit of uh, time, to be fair. Uh, right, okay. Now then, what rooms do we want to build? We're going to need a workshop. Uh, we've already got this set up and running nicely. Uh, well, let's, I'm not a huge fan of building off rooms, honestly. But I think we're going to have to in this case. We don't have that much of a choice. That being said, we could, in fact, build in this direction and then build out a nice big workshop room over here. We don't need it to be too gigantic. We only need it big enough to have two um, crafting stations and enough storage besides that it'll, it'll work out. Now, I'm building this out in twos because that's generally how big a bed is. It's two by two. Uh, though, they're looking at that. Ah, oh, really, game? Why? Why? You know how much it makes my brain itch when you do this. Why do you set it out so that we had wasted space? <laughs> 
it on purpose. I know you did. I mean, well played. You're a game about being evil, and you're intentionally hurting my brain. So, uh, thematically appropriate once again, much like the hellish mode. So, all right then. Now, that is ideal for a corridor. Actually, you know what? Sure, since that wall there is going to block things, I'm not going to use it. We're going to split that off a little bit. There we go. Can't say uh, fairer than... Well, you can't say fairer than that. That is a lie. Uh, right, I'm going to want some more little snots as well, actually. So uh, get one or two of those, please, and thank you. Anyway, most, mostly uh, we want enough little snots to do digging in the gold mine whilst also expanding rooms. Okay, we've hit a barrier there. All right, there's a bit of an oddity around here. Looks like we might be able to even go up around and behind. Oh, there's a lot to find on this. Oh, my lord. Okay. All right, then. That is actually quite interesting. And yes, totally, totally cheating by looking at the map that way. And I regret nothing. There we go. Let's uh, get that in. In fact, due to that, we're not going to need uh, uh, to have that corridor there, since this is more or less an island of, uh, of something rather than, than an actual border wall. So fair enough. Uh, you go over there. Really are going to need to get that island to be able soon, though. I'm just going to let us get enough money behind us to get a decent horde army, I think. If we've got a, a bit of a chunky horde armor before we, we head out, that's going to just make everything so much easier for us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait until we've got the horde army ready. I'll bring you back if we should be attacked, though I'm hoping that we don't. And then we will go out and claim our first couple of islands of evil. Now, ooh, Heyday, here we the go. Day dawn. The heroes who would have found refuge in the protection of the forests were less than thrilled to encounter the victorious evil's creatures here. Scouting parties made up of angry heroes set out. Okay. Okay. So, nighttime is going to be the time where we want to expand. And uh, daytime, we're just going to want to bunker down and try and hold the fort. Very well. Uh, as I said, though, I'll bring it back when there's an attack. But for the most part, I'm just going to be expanding out the base a bit. There are enemies in your dungeon. Okay, that did not take very long. At all, in fact. Womp. Let's grab you all. I'm going to want you. Uh, there we go. Talia, we need to have a word about how loud you are. Like, super bad. There we go. Got, an, got a goblin backstabbing their, their healer. Good times are these. I approve. We're going to have four minutes of this. Hopefully, they continue to bring these kinds of uh, generally weak minions to the fight. I'd be 100% okay with that, actually. But we definitely need to get up to the point get up. that we have got undead soon, because then they can tank quite a lot of damage for us. The bustling evil had dug into a dragon's nest. Uh, I mean, that's not actually too bad of a thing to have happened. Sure. Oh. Okay, let's get everyone over here. Now, let's, if we can take out the small ones first, that would be grand. And if we can take out the main room soon after, that would be awesome. It is almost night time, so we kind of want to be making a run for it at this point. But, uh, Talia, could you lead more of them into battle for me? That'll do. Now you can come back. No, oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, you can go over there. There we go. Right, we're going to lose some people here, but that's fine. If we can take this out, we will we'll have a diamond vein straight away. And that is going to be absolutely amazing. It's payday. Uh, you're all going to have to wait a little bit, I'm afraid. Could you go for that dragon lizard in particular? We've lost several creatures. But we've also got loads of money, so we can get a couple more. Uh, let's grab you. There we go. And another nod, please. There we are. Now, this is a bit of an early fight for us to be having, but that is going to be absolutely imperative for us to have this. Having this early on just basically means that we no longer have to worry about money. So that's a pretty good find right at the beginning. But we've lost so many of our units. Oh, my lord. I'm going to need to keep uh, hiring new ones, basically. Another Naga, please. Another Orc as well. Uh, another Orc on top. There we go. 
We've almost got their nest. So no more reinforcements. Now it's just a war of attrition that we will win because we're constantly making more money and they are not constantly making more more minions. We've not really lost anything we couldn't afford to lose. I mean, all of our creatures had gained uh, uh, almost up to max a level by the time that night was out. But uh, yeah, I, I'm generally fairly happy with finding this early on. It's going to take a lot of the micromanaging out of this for us. Uh, let's get another healer in there as well. There we go. And it's pretty much just you now. It's all against one. Okay, while the little snots are preparing our treasure room and filling it with treasure, it is high time that we head out to claim the first island of evil, which we really badly need. Oh my goodness. Money will no longer be an issue for us, though. Uh, right, I really should have actually done this previously. That was a bit silly of me. I had already set up uh, groups, but unfortunately, then everyone went and died. The annoyances. Right, there we go. So, right, we need to be... Well, we want the whole group as well. Uh, that'll be group zero. There we go. Let's head out there. And yes, I am taking it a little bit more seriously this time. I'm actually giving control groups. You know when when I'm, I've am i stopped uh, underestimating the game, when I start actually setting up proper control groups. Uh, sure, we'll take this down. It might be uh, an interesting book. We've only got one minute, though, to do all of this. But this also gives our healers a little bit of extra time to perform some healing. Okay, uh, we're not going to use that. We'll leave that one there for now. Uh, okay, want them taken out as a pretty high priority. Healers, back, please. There we go. You can just uh, chill out there. I mean, you can engage if you want to, but uh, hopefully we're not going to have to have you do that. There we go. A little bit of an extra level. Fantastic. Marvellous, in fact. Okay, the main fighter group. Go. Oh, okay. There's no need to worry about that one too much more. Now, we need to be down in that there direction. Okay. Let's get the whole group. Yeah. Let's go. Now our healers can take a little bit of time. Now what I'm really hoping is we don't have to deal with vines poking out of the ground all the time. Uh, okay, mages are the first targets, please. Go for them quickly. There we go. Nicely done. Now the other mage. There we are. Perfectly done, in fact. Excellent. There we go. Now by the time we get back, we are going to be stinking filthy rich. Come on, which is me. the best sort of rich, frankly. All right, let's go for the novice. Get in there. There we go. You're pretty angry now. You've gotten to the right level that you're using your uh, abilities. Good. The main attack group. Go for the priestess. The goblins are fantastic because largely creatures will ignore goblins. They don't consider them a threat. They're much like the rogues. So they're brilliant for just getting around and doing a bunch of damage. Right. However, we do need to be back in right now. So go, go, go. Let's get indoors as quickly as I can, please before the heroes start it's showing up, which is just going to be really annoying for me. All right, there we go. So we're already producing an enormous amount of gold. I do want more little snots, frankly. Uh, sure, yeah, we can we can afford to get that many little snots. There we are. We'll have four working down here pretty much constantly, two working over there pretty much constantly. Ideally, I would like some more working over there as well, but you know how it goes. I'll just have to wait. I fancy eventually this room will be completely redesigned into something because we're not going to need another treasure room other than this. We'll just keep performing research uh, research to increase the amount of gold that we can stack. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Well, of course they have. Uh, not too many right now, though, so that's fine. Let's grab the entire attack group. And then, as soon as you engage, Talia, go down there. Oh, no, that was wrong. Accidentally uh, retargeted someone. Please kill the healer. There we go. Pop. And the mage soon after. Oh, the mage is already gone. Excellent. Excellent news. Okay, now we really want a graveyard. Let's get that research and then a prison right after it. There we go. That's what we needed. All right. Now then, we're going to want this prison fairly close by, I'm going to say. So let's get a graveyard out first. And again, in uh, two squared chunks, that would give us a decent size graveyard there. Quite a decent size graveyard, actually. And then, I mean, ultimately I'm going to want to create a long path that they're going to have to explore down here. But for the time being, I think we can probably, in fact, happily have a prison about this big. The prison doesn't prescribe to the same rules as other areas because it's not a place where you stick beds. 
You just need a large enough area to stick uh, dead, uh, sorry, um, incapacitated heroes into. Uh, we are stupidly filthy rich, so we don't really don't need to worry too much about the, uh, the cost of this building project. Ooh, that is solid. Okay, we're gonna carve these bits away. Enemies I mean, have entered the dungeon. It's not the best, but it'll do. All right, around there, please. The whole group. There we are. And then Talia at the back, Give just kind of annoy orders. people. There we go. Now, the problem here is they are stunned when you drop them in, so it is generally best not to drop your, your unit on the heroes, because it is going to cause a bit of a problem for you. There we go. Already got a zombie out. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Uh, oops, that's not what I want. Let's uh, get some more in there as well. There we are. And then our prison can go up. It's not the best prison in the world, but it'll do. Really? Can I dig these? <gasps> I can. Hmm, does that mean I can put... No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. That would have been bloody awesome. Truly. But that's that's perfect. That is well good enough for me for now. Uh, we'll continue expanding the prison a little bit. It's a bit of an expensive room to put down, but it's good to have that extra capacity, in my opinion. Right, that is a big enough zombie area. This will be a decent enough little prison there. We should start getting... Some good and dead. Oh, this is fantastic. This room is now finished. So I'm actually going to have a look at what room we want in there. We don't want a guard room. That is not a thing that we want. A crypt might be nice because it would mean that we would no longer lose our horde creatures. But a Tinker's Cave would also be quite, quite good. Um, the Sinister Laboratory allows you to make some pretty nasty things but uh, I'm thinking we're soon going to need more there stuff for our hold so dungeon. let's go for the tinker's cave for now right everyone with me, Lead me to the battle. everyone over there and go for the novice first please and indeed thank you right this whole room can go now you want a three by five for the tinker's cave um, and you don't really need storage for it so a 10 by 3 would be enough. This is a bit of a big room for that, but... You know, I don't mind using it for that. We are going to close it up a little bit, though, so that we're not wasting an awful lot of space. We are going to waste a bit of space with this one, but it'll it'll do. Ah, glorious. We're getting a little bit of extra evil from having incarcerated heroes. Uh, right, I would actually like the prison... Well, is this another island? It is. Ah, okay. In that case, it doesn't matter. We can have a nice, big, hefty prison down there. In fact, we can even increase that room. Eventually, I'm going to want quite a lot of undead. Again, as I mentioned in the last uh, in the last episode, I'm particularly fond of the undead simply because they... If you give them any kind of skills, they always keep it because they'll regenerate. Much like demons. Demons are very similar, but it costs mana to regenerate a demon. Whereas the undead just need time. So they're quite quite uh, cost-efficient in that regard. Uh, there we are. We'll just get all of that room built. And we've got another 40 seconds before we can actually head out and do a little bit of damage on the overworld. Now, we're going to need to start creating control groups for my zombies. Generally, you want your zombies to lead the charge in any fight because they'll draw aggro initially. And it doesn't matter if they die, because they'll just re reappear back here. Once you've got the crypt set up, then that's also true of your... Uh, let's let's go ahead and have that being, being mined. I was a bit of a fool and didn't have it being mined. But uh, eventually, with the crypt, you're not in too much of, of a bad way. But I prefer to wait until you've got the Sinister Laboratory up, and you've basically got an automatic crypt. Otherwise, you need Undead to run it, which can be a bit of a problem. There we go. Money is there. Go and get your pay. Heretics, you have defiled nature. Oh dear. You will pay for that with your lives. May these spores end your despicable existence. Giant mushrooms grew out of the ground at incredible speed. That uh. cool giant mushrooms. <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm going to uh, eat them, of course. The what? mushroom soup and all that. We don't want to be sensitive to issues here. Talia! <laughs> yes, well, these mushrooms were more explosive in nature, and if they weren't stopped in time, uh, they would do a lot of damage to the dungeon. Okay. What? Those things explode? 
Okay, creatures, take care of those things. Pulverize them. Kick Where? them to bits. Where are they? Make cream of mushroom soup out of them. Uh, not a fan of that. Right, where are they? Uh, right. Okay, so literally everyone destroy it. Comes from above. Please. There we go. Where else? Where else are they? Any others in here? There we go. All that is good. Sorry, but we need you to be doing work really badly right now. As you can see, I have been expanding out. We've already... Uh, starting work on getting a um, some alcohol, which is going to allow our horde creatures to start upgrading, which is pretty good. Right. In in my my brewery, Scally Waggery, the highest order. Uh, right, with that done, we've got another one going down here. Have you finished with this one yet? Yes, you have, but this one still needs to be dealt with. There we go. We've got quite a lot of our whole creatures now up to level 4. Which is going to start meaning they require food, uh, beer. So, as soon as you're done with that, we'll move on to the next one. There we go. And in you go. Let's take this one out. Are there any others? Hopefully not. There's another one on the way, though. Alright, then. Uh, well, at least you're getting levels from this, I suppose. Now, I've we'll repeatedly try. received a warning that there are spiders in the dungeon somewhere. It is not a great one. Mushroom bones appear in the dungeon. In 14... Oh, right. Okay. So that's it. Oh, man. Really? We're going to have to deal with that? Oh, no. Constantly? That's that's awful. It's not something I approve of. Um. Okay. Well, we need to start working, winding away around and popping down some traps. Uh, we're going to start dropping in some doors to generally improve the efficiency of the rooms that I've got. Well, this is going to be fairly important early on. Uh, I don't really need one there, but I'm going to stick one there anyway, just because it, I like having you know everything in its place sort of thing. Uh, this room does nothing. Well, I'll pop doors in there anyway. Uh, I think that's largely all we need to do. There we go. Let's get all of those doors done as quick as you can. Now, I popped this one in there because I'd kind of like to uh, change the shape of this room a little bit. And because it does annoy me. We're going to sell some parts of it and then we're going to continue just to expand it out in a nice, nice big old shape. Uh, I might even remove that part, frankly. And continue building it out like this. So we can have an enormous it's uh, prison room. I think that would be particularly nice. In fact, yeah, let's uh, let's put this plan into action straight away. So, it's daytime. We're going to just kill heroes that pop through for a little while. And then continue on with the attacks. Now, it's 13 minutes. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I would like to hit this outpost next. Uh, I have had uh, someone explain how the outposts are going to work, which is fantastic. 15,000, my lord. That is... Rather crazy. Got an ant down there that we're going to need to deal with Enemies as well. Have entered the dungeon. Okay. Ooh, now this is getting a little bit more the of a concern. Evil. Let's get you over there. Talia, could evil. you grab Don't a couple of people and just generally distract them for me? That would be grand. In fact, Talia, how about we get you up to the point that you can summon shadows? There you go. That'll be much more useful. Uh, the... No, this needs to die. Please and thank you. But otherwise, we should be easily able to deal with any amount of heroes being thrown at us for uh, for the next little while, at least. Uh, ooh, notice that we've got something there. No, it's fine. We've got an island around it, uh, so that we can... Uh, sorry, there is an island of stone rather than it being a solid barrier. So we can afford to increase the size of our prison quite significantly. Okay, here we are at the outpost. It is time for us to just get in there and attack. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much who this cannon attacks right now, hey! since we're probably going to wipe it out fairly quickly. Our skeletons have taken a, a bit of a beating there, but that's fine overall. Uh, our undead group is on Evil control is group 3, so I'll send them down there while everyone else starts working on the outpost, frankly. Uh, the Banshee will probably go down reasonably soon, but that's again okay. 
Uh, tell you if you want to help out with the cannon, that would also be right. But once we've gotten this out of the way, we're probably going to unlock a little bit of a back path here. I'm not sure what we would hit. We'd hit the ends. I mean, You've captured an we outpost. could destroy that, I suppose. Now, what do I do with an outpost? I was told there are things that can be done. Enemy building site, you can erect a building here. Empty. Well, what can I... Oh, I see. This is what you do with outposts. So we have a horde. Horde creatures no longer demand gold on payday. That would actually be fantastically important. Or I could put a cannon tough. I have explosive cannonballs capable of hitting a number of targets simultaneously. Powerful. Uh, lightning tower. Fun with static electricity. Fires lightning bolts capable of hitting multiple enemies. Uh, fun with static electricity. Yeah, I suppose that's quite good. Ballista tower. Fires oversized bolts at a single target. Uh, let's get a powerful lightning tower there. And then maybe a powerful cannon tower here. And then down here, I wouldn't mind. Set of demons, set of the undead. Regenerating the graves much more quickly. Evilness, the amount of evilness you gain is increased. And that seems like a good one to have early on. Uh, yes, that does seem quite a good one. And the statue of the horde. Yeah, no more gold for the horde. Sorry, but not sorry, you actually. Desire? There we go, now that is pretty bloody useful i must say we've got a uh, about a minute left so that's fine we can uh, move on do a little bit more damage now there are ants over here now that might have caused a bit of a problem i suppose we haven't got many undead left either we have got all of our healers though there's another one of those stupid roots indeed all right creatures show that thing our interpretation healing ants please uh i mean sure now can you do damage from afar no. No, you're just protection, and that's fine. I'm okay with you protecting that place. We should be able to get through these ends reasonably fast, I imagine. Still got a, a minute to go. And then, uh, that's an awful lot of health, though. Oh, ouch. That poor skeleton. It's okay. You will crumble into dust, and then you'll wake up somewhere else. It'll be fine. All right, there we go. Let's do a bit of damage, then. I am not sure we're ever going to get through this in a reasonable amount of time, but... You know, crack on, I suppose. That would be fine. Actually, no. We'll take it back. You're doing quite the wallop of damage there. That is very nice to see, I must confess. Uh, is that an empty building slot? No. Alas, that would have been amazing, but no. Right, well, while that's going down, we've got a couple of other things we can do. I really wouldn't mind getting the goblins into gobblebots. That basically gives them an extra life. For all intents and purposes, it gives them an extra life. Uh, they can afford to die once, and then they jump out of their mech suit and then run away. Uh, but whilst in the Gobblebot suit, they can't do their awesome uh, sneaky damage. So, you know, it's, it's something that you have to kind of weigh the pros and cons about. There we go. Well done. Die, tree, die. Now we super need to get back home. <laughs> wow. You happy with that? Wow. I... Wow. I mean, you're not wrong, but just wow. Uh, any more flags on there I can use? No. Okay, well, that's fine. We definitely want to hit that other... Uh, what was that? Uh, dead skeleton, that's fine. We definitely want to hit this uh, root system, but uh, the outpost in particular is especially attractive right now. There are enemies in your dungeon. Good, 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 good. Right, that can be removed. Now. Blasphemers! You dare to destroy the dare. ancient trees? Yes. You have forfeited your right to a merciful death. Nature's revenge will be merciless. Uh, okay. Man, don't you ever stop whining. Your nature can't do a single thing, and we're going to kick your ass up around your ears any time now. That You'd sounds be better off writing your quite impressive, actually. Instead of annoying us with your boring old speeches. Right, get in behind. Points, but a scraping and digging noise could still be heard in the dungeon. Yes. Apparently, the plants there were not sitting idly by. That's not so... Oh, no, really? While I'm under attack as well? That's just rude. So rude. Hurry up with this fight, please. Super need this fight to be done very quickly, because... Uh, well, thankfully, I got a load of doors, so that is going to slow them down a little bit, but not a whole lot. Explosive right, okay. Mushrooms have been spotted in the dungeon. As well! Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we need to deal with this problem right now. Go, the dungeon heart is being attacked. Go ahead. 
Uh, right. Oh, no. Oh, no. I no longer know where the mushroom was. Ah, this is bad times. Super bad times. It's going to do a lot of damage, isn't it? Yep. Uh, okay. Um, everyone could kill the uh, rootlings. That would be grand. There Where's are the enemies in damage? your dungeon. Uh, no, nothing up there. That's fine. Nothing down there. I don't see these... Which is unfortunate. But everyone, deal with that one, please. Gonna have to replace all these doors. Which is, oh, there we are. Ah, oh, really? Oh, wow, that actually did a lot of damage. It took out a whole chunk of the room and something expensive that I built in there. Those scalabags. Uh, it's, we're not gonna get that in time. That is not gonna be stopped, unfortunately. Uh, all right. Ah, wait a second. These rootling areas. Where it is that previously had uh, oh, had uh, rock formations in them. Interesting. I need to know where that next mushroom is. There. Okay. Good. 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 You're doing a good job. Keep it up. Any more around you? We haven't got any uh, any um, traps laid down just yet, but hopefully soon. I definitely want a new... No! Oh, oh, Talia, really? Well, I mean, I suppose. I'll be back. All my minions, please. Down here. Quick as you like. Maybe even a little bit quicker, actually. Quick as you can, rather than quick as you like. Right, we'll pop you guys down there. Now, ultimately, I like to have my undead as the guards, because Enemies have uh, it's actually just dungeon. quite a useful... Uh, Combo, honestly, I generally find. Uh, since they don't perform any other particularly important job, that being said, the crypt is run by the undead, but you can make the crypt automatic. Which is something I tend to make a beeline for. Right, okay, we need Nagas. Two will do. Uh, another, some brute strength. There we are. And an extra Naga as well. There we go, that'll help out. Now then, okay, I think we've mostly overcome the worst of that. Those explosive mushrooms, oh, that timing was just dreadful. But on the whole, I think we're okay. We should be all right, I think. Gonna need to replace all these doors, though. That is a bit of a bother, but it could have been a lot worse. There are enemies in your dungeon. Okay, the enemies are on their way, but this time we have a few traps in place. Hopefully, we can do a chunk of damage. Yeah, that novice is down. Great. No longer going to have to worry about that one, then. Uh, is anyone else going to be able to threaten us? Um, no, actually, that's a good chunk of damage there, in fact. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic news. Uh, I would like that thief taken out as a priority, though. Uh, we've got a couple more thrashes around. I'm probably going to focus on uh, manually activated traps for a little while uh, as we just get things up and running. We, we're probably going to be uh, really bunkering down with this one. Now, they've taken a good bit of damage there. We've got a veteran, but that should be fine. Let's spin her up. There we go. We should catch the uh, thief with a lot of damage there. That was absolutely wondrous. Let's uh, summon everyone down, though. And again. There we go. Do a little bit of damage to the uh, guard there. It's fine. That door should be up and running. Now, realistically, I probably want that uh, to be elsewhere. These doors do practically nothing. And they're mostly there so that I can get that Thrasher to do a load of damage before they can get through. Ultimately, I want that to be an automatic trap, such as the Flamer, which I think would do a lot of good work for us. Uh, let's get rid of that, though. And make sure that we've got the correct kind, uh, the the drum over on this side, so it does uh, summon everyone over to it. So right about there, dungeon. will do quite nicely for me. Let's get some more of these traps up and running. There we go, and spin her up. Uh, about there, perfect. Did a load of damage, here. and we have the rolling stone trap because I know a lot of people were really eager to see that one running. And go again. I want to do a load of damage. The Priestess is almost gone, which is fantastic. Let's take out that wizard if we can. Not quite, but we've done a pretty good job of it, honestly. Spin her up, take out that Priestess, and this one as well. I'm not going to get any that much damage yet. I'm probably not going to use that on these, because I only get three uses of that before it's uh, run down, which is 
Kind of a pain, frankly. But this Thrasher is going to be able to take out most of the heavy hitters there, frankly. Which is going to be very, very good for us. Now, as you can see, we still don't have quite a full complement of monsters yet. Uh, we're going to go for another Gobblebot, actually, there. And then I may use this to uh, replenish one of our little snots. There we go. Right, you will be over here momentarily. There we are. Snuffle died. Well, that's just annoying. I do believe that they would generate themselves. Once you bought them, that slot is unlocked and will continue to uh, be filled. Come on, then, you. And go. I'm just going to let you walk through, frankly. I don't intend to deal with that. There are enemies That's in fine. Your Though, another group. Hmm. We've got a priestess. Want to make sure you go down fairly quickly. Go. The main thing here is to do the damage to the priestess as she comes through. But as you can see, these things are doing damage in the area for much longer than they're actually visibly spinning. There we go. Uh, the mages, it would be nice to just wipe them out, honestly. And once more here. The healers are brilliant for this because whilst they're stood there, they are... If you do a damage to a large group, they'll stop to try and heal the group. Right, that mage will be gone. And there we go. Ah, uh, manual traps. So glorious. So utterly, utterly marvellous. Uh, but yes, over time, we've basically completely recycled all of our creatures, which isn't the greatest place for us to be, frankly, but it is where we are, and it's what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting more, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to make our, a beeline for the lecture hall, so that we can actually get some uh, interesting things going on. Now, I don't want to build a crypt yet. Building the crypt would be a big issue for me. I will, un however, unlock simple spells. I think that might be useful. Getting the Arachnid, which are pretty tanky, would be nice, but I don't think we're going to be going for them. Mostly, I just want the simple spell so I can make my own uh, my own portals, because that will be a big help to us. Uh, having flamers or arrow traps around here would be grand, just to soak up the the minions. Uh, sorry, the heroes as they're walking between locations. Um, don't want one there. I wouldn't mind one here though. And I wouldn't mind... Sure, we'll have two there. Over here again, one there. One in the middle there. That'll work quite nicely, I think. And it shouldn't take long for them to get all of that done. Uh, sure, go ahead, let's uh, boost their strength. They should be able to easily demolish these heroes. That will not be a problem for us. And once again, our little snots are back to work with the treasure room. Marvellous. But that should be Explosive all over with pretty quickly. Oh, really? in the dungeon. Well, there goes that idea. Alright, then. I would like, um... Well, frankly, I want all of the horde creatures here. So, let's grab you. All of you. You're gonna be my group one for now. Realistically, I shouldn't, I guess. Well, actually... Let's redefine that group. That's group one. You two are group three. Really? Ah, oh, damn it, we weren't fast enough because I was faffing around with the, uh, with all of that. And as a result, we lost both of these. That is so painful. <laughs> wow. A room full of crystal beads oh dear. Been unearthed. Oh, that's not so great. Uh, I'll be honest, that is actually really ungrateful. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should deal with those. Try to focus your fire, please, Pops. Uh, also, can I need more of you? Uh, like, a lot. Get in there, as fast as you can, please. Try and focus fire, though. That is going to be super important. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit of re uh, little bit of redecorating around here. Just trying to make a trap maze that will be sufficiently uh, damaging to our enemies that I'm not going to have to worry about it too much for a little while. You might be wondering what these little indentations are. Uh, that is for all of the people who were really, really desperately excited to see the uh, the boulder traps. Sure, I thought. We'll go ahead and uh, make a couple of those. 
Uh, we may as well gather all of this while we're here. You know what, though? This does remind me we are not doing much with the mana. And that's a problem. That is definitely something Enemies we should be doing a lot with. Uh, okay. Uh, do we have any traps in place? Yeah, we do. we got a couple. Uh, I would like the novice taken out first. And go! Let's see how this can handle it by itself. Ah, uh, drag. Oh, no, no. I did manage to uh, catch the novice right at the end. Oh, that was good, actually. Yeah, managed to kill the novice, too. Uh, might be able to take out a couple more. Might be able to take out the thief. Full stop. Ooh, okay, then. Entire group. Let's uh, pop you down there. And once more. Pop. There we go. Well, that was nice and easy. Got quite a lot of use out of that manual trap there. Ooh. That feels like there's going to be something important down there. So, you know what? Maybe I'll just uh, seal this little area off a bit. We'll eventually come... Well, you know what? Actually, no, no. We'll seal that off there. Eventually, we'll do something with this. We'll approach it from a different direction. But for the time being, let's let's not worry about that one too much. Uh, have we done with the fight? Well, almost. We are very almost done with the fight. We're going to have to deal with mushrooms in four minutes, which is not something I'm particularly looking forward to, I'll be honest with you. Uh, other things that we're going to need to do. It is high time. High time. As I said, deal with something man. And since, since we're going to be doing that anyway, may as well grab the lecture hall and my favorite number one spell of all time. Uh, we'll also take this, and the mana baths will be almost there in a few seconds. Come on, just one more, please. There we go. Pop. There we are. Perfect. Right. Have entered the dungeon. I don't usually have many demons, so I'm not going to make a gigantic area for them. But we are going to need mana baths for them. Ooh. Let's uh, wait for you to wander on through. Go. If we're lucky, we're going to catch all of the uh, wizards as well. Uh, yeah, perfect. Now, the priestess is going to be up and running momentarily. Let's grab everyone. Pop you all down there and go again. Smack. There we go. Perfect. Now, you will come out of stun in time to just absolutely ruin them. Talia, could you deal with the uh, priestess over there? Please and thank you. Trying to make use of these in conjunction with your army is just... It's a force multiplier, basically. This thrasher can just stun the entire group, and in that time you can drop your whole army on top of them. Works very, very well, as you can see. Uh, but as I was saying... We're going to want a mana bar so that our minions can get to a decent level. And we can make a... Well, we can make a modest mana bar, or we can make a decent-sized mana bar. Or we might as well, I suppose. Uh, that being said, actually... You know what? Let's make this the room for the demons. Uh, so that'll be their, their living space. I think that'll work out. Now then, ooh, okay, that's going to be... Oh, no, that uh, is actually the end of the uh, the wall. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, scout out this whole room. Six by five. Uh, that'll give me two by th three by threes. Uh, a few more. This will be our Enemies mana generation room. The dungeon. I think that'll be good. Okay, let's have a watch of you then. Unfortunately, we weren't quite able to get everything set up there. But let's uh, wait for them to move into position. We want the priestess, please. Let's wait for everyone. Oh, that's perfect. Cluster up and then drop everyone on top of them. There we go. And whilst the Thrasher is in the middle of this fight, oh, it's going to be bad for their wizards. Go again, please. Come on. Perfect. Though, it's a shame we weren't quite able to get the Bombardier. That was a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, we can't have it perfect every single time. Now, we are going to want a place for our... Lecture hall. And I'm thinking something like this would do nicely for that. Well, actually, why don't we make it a little bit closer? Because this doesn't need to be adjacent to any building. So we could happily make a three, uh, sorry, a six by six over here, for example. Yeah, that seems to work well for me. Uh, in fact, we'll make it like that. There we are. That'll do, do nicely, I think. Okay, rooms are being lined up. It's going to take us a little bit to get all of that finished, but that's fine. Pop another little door in there as well. Oh, our prison is filling up. My lord. Um, there's a part of me that's thinking about moving this along, but I actually quite like the idea of having the rotating flamer there, for example. All right. If everyone would move on back, how about you sit there and help out a little bit? That would be grand. 
Uh, I would like to get the lecture hall up and running sooner rather than later, because then I can make sure that we've got uh, the right types of traps and upgraded traps as well. Fortunately, my little snot are dragging their bloody feet. Get to work. <laughs> 